Alright everyone, <laughs> I guess we're gonna try this shit again. For those of you who have forgotten, I'm Grimoth, and welcome back to Let's Get On That Sid Meier Civilization 4. Uh, last episode <laughs> didn't work out that well. Pro tip, um, I debated on whether or not I was gonna play Frederick again. Um, Frederick's not quite that exciting of a leader to play. <laughs> um, and I decided, yeah, fine, I'll play as Frederick of Germany again, yay. So yeah, I'm gonna load up another Emperor game and we'll give this another college try. Hurrah! Also, uh, I'm thinking, you know, although there might be some lag issues, if anything, there won't be a sound echo like you could hear in the uh, final episode of the Kapok playthrough due to the um, sound desync. Basically, I muted my headphones, my headset, so uh, you guys will be the only ones to be able to hear any sound. Yay! And before we get started, I'm going to uh, check to see if the sound quality is good, if I'm coming through alright, and we'll go from there. Be right back. Alright, sounds as good as can be expected given the situation, so with all other things being equal, let's get on with it. I haven't played Civ 4 in like 24, 25 hours. It's crazy shit. <laughs> uh, I might have played earlier, but I was busy uh, overseeing uh, Jeff Major's live stream. Permanently banned 14 people. Uh, timed out uh, many others. I consider that to be accomplishment. In my short time that I was there, I came in only while he was G-modding. Um, I banned more people in a live stream than I ever have in any of his live streams. It's pretty exciting. But I keep a list of all that shit in a notepad. So... Oh, oh. So that way, I know. So if anybody has complaints about, No, why did you ban me, Jeff? Why did I get banned? I want to know I got banned. I'm like, hey, pig fucker, this is why you got banned. <laughs> also, hello, gorgeous. Um... Wow. <laughs> Wet corn. Wet rice is alright. Riverside gold. Um. Rivers. I got a floodplains tile here. Uh. Thinking about moving to this space to give me access to Riverside and to free up this hill. I am not too keen on uh, settling on a grass hill as you don't gain any benefit from it other than settling on a hill. Settling on a plains hill is alright, and oh my god, so many forests. Uh, um, do not want to settle in place. Okay. If I settle in place, I'll have access to three hills. The, the, R and, uh, the map generator on your standard map scripts does its best to guarantee that, just like it does its best to guarantee that you have a source of fresh water in your capital. So if I settle here, I've got one, two, three hills. Although, um, building a mine on a, uh, on a gold tile, you know, only produces one hammer instead of the normal two. So, that doesn't count so much. I don't want to settle on the gold. Uh, I can move over here one. I don't know if there's any compelling reason to do so. But I like what I see here. My only worry is that uh, I won't have another hill, and I can't quite see all the tiles I'll be moving into, as there is fog. But I'm going to go ahead and take the risk. I mean, it's Emperor. What the fuck? And I'm going to go ahead and spend a turn and move on to this tile. It'll give me access to, well, even working the corn immediately. The rice gives just as much yield right now, the unimproved rice, so what the fuck. And I'll still have that floodplains there. Now, I could be moving away from something valuable here... Except for the fact that, you know, there's no food resource hiding there. If it was a strategic resource, it would be like that, conspicuously um, uncovered with forest. So I'm going to go ahead and move there. Now I'm going to move into a plains tile there, but I appear to have moved into more floodplains. So yeah, that's my evaluation of that. That puts me a turn behind. That means I've lost uh, 9 commerce, or 10 commerce, as I would have worked the, uh, the floodplain there. Ah, whatever. Hmm, okay. Go ahead and set up shop here. Ah. Alright, um. 
that's a shame. If I had settled in place here, uh, what I've done is basically impacted a second city location that I could have put right here, or better yet, on the wine. Would have had access to cow and floodplains. Instead, I have uh, kind of screwed over that city location, and I've got to hope there's something strong over here. But I think that was a better move for Berlin itself. Um, I do only have two hills, and one of them is a gold hill, so there's not going to be a lot of production in this capital, which is a shame, but uh, it will do well in getting out settlers and workers. So I won't really be able to focus on building wonders this game, it's a shame. Uh, tech research first is agriculture. It'll allow me to prove two of my tiles, and I already have mining. So after that, I can go after the things that I want. Good. Now, what do I want after that next in this start? What do we got over here? An oasis. I can't settle a city location there. That's a shame. I'll have to settle a uh, inferior city location to work those two tiles. Somewhere or another. Maybe uh, over here. I don't know to scout around my terrain first to see where I will be settling next. Hello, Churchill. Churchill's a very peaceful guy. Well, all the English leaders are relatively peaceful. I don't think he declares war pleased. Um, I don't have a lot of experience playing against Churchill, actually, so don't take my word for that. But I don't think he has a high unit build prob. I think Victoria is the most dangerous of the... Um, the English leaders in terms of being a douche, because uh, how she'll backstab you. Uh, Elizabeth can be dangerous in the later game. The only thing that would make that corn better is if it were Riverside as well, but still fresh water, that'll be six food, that'll be pretty good. Um, did move away from hills, but I did want to be by the river. I moved away from a lot of grassland too. This city location, there was only one two plains tiles of my capital? Yeah. Perhaps that was an inferior move, but I did want to be by the river, and it looked like I was moving towards more floodplains. I didn't know that grass cow was going to be there. Grass riverside cow, as a matter of fact. So I don't regret that move. Oh, Genghis Khan. Tough warmonger. Uh, he can really get backwards in terms of technology, because his traits, aggressive and imperialistic, are pretty shitty. I mean, that really gears him towards war, war, war. And if he doesn't do that, if he does not war, he will end up backwards, and he will end up a pushover. But at the beginning of the game, considering how many units he built, he is dangerous, he can declare war pleased. Hannibal! Hannibal won't declare war at pleased, but he can be dangerous and cautious. He does build a decent amount of military, not as much as Genghis Khan, but, you know, it's still reasonable, and he can be a threat. After that, do I want to go early pottery here? Mm, no, one, two, three, four, what does my fifth citizen do? Jumping jacks. <laughs> I can farm the flip lanes? Ugh, I guess. Bronze working, let me to chop down. I can go early pottery, I guess. Then maybe mysticism, polytheism, priesthood? Mm, no. Pottery, bronze working, priesthood? I'll think about that. Need some time. Alright, ha Hannibal came from this direction. I've been getting uh, Hannibal and Hammurabi's names confused as of late. It's bothering me. Okay, here's the coast. And who should I focus my espionage on? I'm thinking... Hannibal. Uh, Hannibal there. Um, Churchill, Genghis Khan, eh, whatever. Oh, I don't know. Ah, screw it. I'll go ahead and focus it on Churchill. Why not? Let's have some fun with it. Move my dude there. Okay. Onto the hill to get a better sight radius. So, pop probably in the southeastern corner of the map. Uh, I can't speak to that for certain. Um, wow, look at all those floodplains. 
not exactly a food resource nearby unless I settle there. One hill, two hills, three hills, sheep and fish after a border pop. That would be a great location for cottages. You know, I don't have as much of an incentive to do cottages as I am not financial, but certainly those could be useful. Brennus, uh, I think he's the more peaceful of the, uh, the Celtic uh, warmongers. Or maybe he's the more aggressive. I don't remember who's worse among him, Boudicca or Brennus. I think he's uh he's more he's better of a leader than um Boudica is. Boudica is aggressive and uh, charismatic. I think the spiritual trait there helps more. Uh, charismatic is definitely both a war and an economic trait, as it improves the happiness of your cities. But there's no need to go overkill. It's like Genghis Khan does. Genghis Khan goes overkill with aggressive imperialistic. Kublai Khan is much better uh in terms of getting your economy alive again after you horse archer rush someone, or Keshik rush, rather. Uh, go ahead and go early warrior here. Cat Corn is my obvious first tile to improve here. Justinian. Alright, he is a religious zealot, a relatively peaceful guy, but uh, he is a religious zealot nonetheless, and I have marble down here. Uh, does not look like to be a supporting resource, though, so... But if I want to build uh, marble-based wonders, that window is open to me, and I can... Well, I'll have to see where I want to place a city. Any food to support that? Does not look to be the case. I'm going to go ahead and scout over here, though, just to make sure. No, I'm definitely on the southern edge of the world, though, due to the tundra here and the ice blocks. Let's see what I can do here. The wheel pottery is coming up in ten turns. Crab resource there, okay. Uh, Berlin is working on growing, which is a good thing. It's kind of what I wanted it to do. Farm done, six food now. Sweetness! Gotta go ahead and improve my second food resource first. You should almost always improve your food resources, unless you're going for something specific. Like, if you have a, a plan in mind, you know what you're doing, then you go for something else. Hannibal's already got bronze working. Am I sure I want to go for bronze working? Uh, one, two, three, four. I mean, I'm not going to be able to work additional tiles, so maybe not. Maybe go for that instead. I like to grab polytheism instead of meditation because, you know, that opens the way to literature. And it's Emperor, so I shouldn't have any difficulty, uh, that much difficulty, getting the Oracle. Go ahead and move on to a Defended Tile here. And those are Justinian's Borders. Alright, Justinian's pretty close. Uh, these Pangea maps, though, tend to get pretty packed. And I left my rival count on 6 instead of uh, 7. I didn't put an additional AI in. Okay, we'll have to deal with that. Alrighty, you're working. Yep, that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and mine my gold mine next. I'll actually be able to grow to a population of six, courtesy of the luxury resource. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did not mean to press escape there. Oops. He's pretty close. Do not like. I guess I settle a second city here. And it'll be off the river. It's gonna be on a grass hill. Yuck. I don't know. I kind of goofed up that, that potential city location by moving Berlin uh, one northwest. Oh, well, shit happens. What do we got here? What do we got here? Warrior done. I want you to go ahead and build another warrior. You can stay back to defend. I'm not getting that many hammers here. The city has switched to uh, working that floodplain, I guess, for inscrutable purposes. I don't understand the governor sometimes, but that works. The city grew faster. There you go. No, I don't want to declare war on him. No. I can't really see his borders that well. Byzantine borders are hard for me to see. I have visual problems. Ooh, gold mine done. Three hammers and eight commers. If I were financial, that would be nine commers. That'd be sweet. 
Oh well, I'm not gonna complain. And you grew to four. Damn, the city's growing so fast now from all the food. <laughs> it's growing so fast, oh my god. And uh, as you can see, I don't need to build a road on the gold, courtesy of the fact that it's riverside. And so it uh, gets straight to my capital. No muss, no fuss. Okay. You gotta stop growing so fast, though. I forbid you from growing again. Well, anytime soon. Stop it. I want to get out enough uh, fucking warriors here to um, spawn bust for me. You know, since I'm not going to build a great wall or anything, I want to have some protection here in terms of uh, controlling uh, whenever barbarians will pop up on me. I really want that city location, though. So I'm going to keep slow uh, growing here, I guess. To build the stone hinge. Nah. want you to head off in this direction for me, please. Continue to scout out around uh, the Byzantine Empire. I could be, uh, you know, scouting better, I suppose, to, like, find out where the other empires are located. It's good to know your surrounding land, right? Another warrior. He is heading in this direction. How you folks doing today? Hope you're doing all right. Hope everything is well. Hope that you all are being well and being excellent to each other. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. It'll be fine. Okay. Cottage that. Uh, you go ahead and head out to this location yourself. Because I do want that to be my next city. It's far away and I don't have fishing, but I want those floodplains. Uh, those will certainly be useful for me. I'm not quite sure why I'm scouting around here. It's not like I'm going to be able to claim any city site over there. But I am. Because I'm a dumbass, I think. Alright, once you grow to six, you are going to have to stop growing. Because I do not have another, um, fucking special super cool resource for you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're coming for me. <laughs> Ninja babies. <laughs> Poor scout. I hardly knew him. The shame. Uh, hmm. I work that, maybe? It gets me additional commerce. And I'll stop growing, which is a plus. Now, after this warrior, I think I'm going to go for a worker next, followed by a settler. Worker to uh, road to this new city location I plan on settling. I tell you what. Now, nah, I'll go ahead and move over there. Hmm. Where do I need to prevent barbarians from spawning? I tell you what. If you, like, step there, I can, um, uh, I have a plan. It's a cunning plan, I think. We'll see. Gotta wait until I can actually execute it, though, folks. Wait until I actually execute it. Barbarian's gonna spawn along there. That's a shame. See what I can do about preventing barbarian span spawns, and damn, he is close. <sighs> I don't know if I have any horses nearby, because I need animal husbandry for that. I'm gonna have to kill Justinian. I don't suppose I don't have to. I just want to kill Justinian. I have a compelling reason to kill Justinian, and I should probably be working the food tiles. That is a mistake on my part. Uh, probably slowed down my development a little bit. I uh, was certainly uh, more inefficient on my part. I goof, folks. Not the first time, and damn. Flood Plains Galore. <laughs> Welcome to Flood Plain Land, everybody. Yay, Flood Plains, yay. Okay. Uh, you're still working an unimproved tile, so I want to improve that. There, maybe? There. Ah, they'll both take the same amount of turns to get to. Shit. Go ahead and move there, then. Hello, lion. I should be safe. Theoretically. <laughs> so, uh, what were the odds on that this time? 1.2%. <laughs> oh, 
this game, this game. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like, are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Barbarian Archer killing me, I totally understand that, but one of my warriors dying at 1.2% odds, that's bullshit, folks. It's fucking bullshit. Just want to let you know, that's bullshit. Do not approve at all, fucking game. Cheating me out of shit. That's what's doing, it's fucking cheating me. Oh. oh I always thought that I would lose that fight, too. You know, 95.9% .9 odds isn't good enough to me fucking win a battle. One point... I... What are the odds there? I mean, that's what? 98.8% .8 chance that the lion dies to my warrior? <laughs> I'm researching very quickly. I approve. What do we got here? More coastline. Okay. And I'm researching quickly, courtesy of this gold, as well as these floodplains. I'm not going to get a road built to my second city location in time, though. Not unless I actually use this worker here, which I'm not doing. Shame on me. Can't... I, uh, yeah, I'm kind of worried about barbarians coming in from that direction. You know, I'd have a warrior protecting that, too. Except for the fucking fact, you know, that I'm not allowed to survive. Oh, shit, you mean win 98.8% odds? Fuck you. You're not winning jack shit. People were, uh, talking to me on Jeff's livestream about how much they enjoyed the fact that I rage quit there. What the fuck do you do in that situation? You, 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 you... No, I'm not letting you move into danger. This worker would have moved straight into danger. He'd have been like, I'm gonna build a road right here. Ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. And then I would have quit the game. Or what I probably would have done instead is rule builder than a worker. I'm not taking that shit. No. I've dealt with enough bullshit this game. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. That's what it'll do. Just like, Ruffle skates, Ruffle skates. You're gonna lose the game. I'm just gonna build a road there. Wait for this guy to do something. And go ahead and build a road, I reckon. Uh, I don't know where he is. I think he's moved onto that spot. Well, we'll see if I die. We will see. Woohoo! Barbarian City! Right there. Which doesn't stop me from building a city there. That's good. Could have been worse. Writing is done. I have not started on the Oracle yet. That is actually my next goal right there. Alright. Start working on a road, please. You do the same. Take it one tile at a time, folks. One tile at a time. Hmm. The city location is going to be pretty far, but I'm okay with that. You know, I can squeeze in just like a junk city here. If I get optics, I can eventually work the whale, and, you know, I have access to a hill, and boom, then I can put, like, a city, a completely trash city, uh, somewhere like here. I can work that floodplain, some of this uh, riverside, uh, the marble, be like a resource city. Um, build a city somewhere over here. Don't know what the superior city location site would be this time. Maybe something like there. Uh, since I can't build it there, courtesy of uh, Berlin's location. And uh, maybe a city here. Another junker. Uh, but it'll allow me to work the crabs. No hills, though. That's bad. But yeah. Maybe like a a great person city or something. I am philosophical. I certainly have that going for me. Uh, sure, let's open borders. I should have done that with all of the AI. To, uh, improve my relations. Genghis Khan, what's up, bro? You are not plotting war. It's nice to have at least one warmonger on the map, though. 
if only because uh, you can bribe them and uh, possibly direct them against your enemies so they can't get too powerful. The problem with that is uh, if the warmonger goes into we have enough on our hands mode um, before you get an opportunity to bribe. Go ahead and move that guy there. Start roading. I'm going to need to build a monument in that city since I'm not cultural. And I'm not researching bronze working as fast as I was initially. Okay, and you can move here. And that will block spawns in that location. So I'm safe from barbarians except in these two spots. Yuck. Really help to have another another warrior, but what can you do, right, folks? What can you do? Wow, Genghis Khan and fucking Churchill are hugging each other, fucking hugging each other. And yeah, I'm pretty adamant about building the city location there. I think that's a superior location to building on the plains hill. I want the riverside, so especially since you know I'm gonna have so many floodplains. I need the additional health from being riverside. Waste of forest here, but well, shit happens. Hamburg Monument is obvious first pick. I'm looking forward to building uh, a monument and uh, chopping it out rapidly. As soon as I can, anyway. Whenever I get bronze working. Nottingham, uh, selling right in my face. <laughs> I do not like this map. But it is Emperor, so I should be able to deal with this. <sighs> Not exactly sure how I'm going to deal with it just yet. I'm thinking about that, folks. I'm thinking. It'll be nice to get that road built soon. I should have waited to, um... I should have waited on my opening borders things. Uh, due to the way the system works, whenever I complete this road network, I won't immediately have a trade route until next turn. Uh, that would have changed if I had waited to open borders with an AI, because that's when the trade route check is made. So, I was inefficient, and I cost myself, like, two commerce. One in this city, and one in the city. Oh well. I'm going to get a late uh, oracle by the looks of it, but uh, that oracle was not at risk, I don't think, because... Well, because I said so. <laughs> this is Emperor, so I should have this. Also, I suppose I should be working these cottage tiles. Um, probably should have directed the city a bit better here. That was pretty inefficient on my part, as I would have wanted these to grow as quickly as possible. Um, game had the right idea uh, by working as many hammer tiles, but the governor, yeah... I should have had them working at that at the very least. Uh, that was a mistake on my part. That was, what, eight turns there? It'll be permanently behind. I'm trying to talk to you folks. I'm losing my touch, okay? Fishing next. I'm gonna want to improve that food. Maybe. Maybe I will. Do I need the fish immediately? No. I'm going to have all these floodplains here. I don't need that fish tile immediately. What do I need? These guys are not going to have alphabet yet. This is not the strongest tagging group in the game. Uh, Hannibal can get dangerous, but many